here at the Bread and Roses Cafe, we have a team that comes together each and every day to make all of this possible. Whether it's the volunteers, the culinary training program, our resident JV or a Jesuit volunteer, and all these people come together and put forth this tremendous effort uh, to serve a very vulnerable population here in Venice, which are low-income families and homeless individuals. Well, the idea is that Bread and Roses is not a soup kitchen, so people don't line up without us having a relationship or some connection to that individual. You actually get the interaction with the people here and you get to know a little bit about them and it's very hands-on and it has some more of a, a like a family diner feel to it. Here you go. You're very welcome. For a lot of our clients it's the only meal that they're going to be eating that day and we've only got 18 minutes for service. So we want to make it our best. And I think that's where the great synergy between the Bread and Roses Cafe and the culinary training program comes into play because not only are we feeding people, but we are training people. We are getting people the, the ability to go out and find work in the culinary industry. We try to utilize the techniques that we're using up at the culinary training school down here, and it elevates the level of food for everyone. So basically, we need, in 13 minutes, we need to have like the first plates coming out. It is a little stressful because we do have to cook for quite a few people. But I mean, it's great. I think it's um, a normal part of the kitchen experience, like having to work under pressure and create really good food. Be careful, like whenever you're making a cake, you don't want to compress it too much. My background is mostly fine dining and high-end catering. And so I bring all of that experience that I have over the last decade uh, to the kitchen here. So uh, my standards have been set. Not only is it delicious, but it's nutritious, it's healthy. It's gourmet food. It's, we're making it from scratch. Instead of crab cakes, we're gonna make salmon cakes. And we're gonna serve that with some mashed potatoes. We're gonna do a little herb salad with a whole lemon aioli to go with it, to kind of tie it all together. And then we're gonna serve some bread on the side as well. Um, should be great. The food is great. Uh, they give you everything that you need. They give you the coffee. They will listen to your your dietary needs. This food was delicious. I actually, I have to go to an interview this morning. Yeah. So I, I just, if you could tell that I personally thought the meal was great. I will. People come here, eat here free, and the people is very nice here. Generous, they talk to you, they look you in the eye. It's a special place. After every meal, people will walk out and say thank you or you know, bless you, something like that. And it's just a lot of those little moments that makes me really, really grateful that I could do something here. One of the things that's really inspired me is hearing clients often say it's the one place that they come and they feel like they're human again that they're treated in a way that has them forget, maybe, for an hour, that they're homeless. I mean, this job, it's always new. Every time I come in, it's always a different atmosphere, and people are very interesting. It's been a great learning experience. This is a perfect place to be. It makes it easy for me, and uh, I'm not out here with too much family. So it makes people like me feel very comfortable and at home. I'll put it to this way. The program itself, I wouldn't have it any other way. 